All right, welcome to the next step of our painting. I started kind of experimenting here, figuring out how to best do it. And I think I'm ready to make the video. So you have your chunks of color and you can see in some of these, I've started to come in with some other colors and that's what we're gonna do. We started with some real, what we call flat color in art. We refer to a color as flat when there's not a lot of lights and darks and it doesn't really change. It's just one tone. And most of our colors are pretty flat right now. And we're gonna come in with some more of that color and some of its analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And the nice thing about analogous colors are they blend really well together. And we can just look at our color wheel and know that. Hey, if I have a green, I can mix that with yellow. Really easy. I can mix that with blue. Really easy. So we're gonna do one together here and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So it looks like if I'm working down, I'm gonna be on purple here. So if I find purple, which is also referred to as violet in my color wheel, I can see I have red on one side of it and blue on the other. So these are the colors I know I can mix with violet. So I'm gonna get those three oil pastels out and these are water soluble oil pastels, which means they kind of turn into like a paint, which is pretty sweet. But I need to get red, purple, and blue. So here is my red, my purple, and it actually says violet, red, and then blue right there. And I've got a couple different blues, but I'm gonna go with this one because these look like they go well together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one color and I'm gonna keep them in this order. So um, red, purple, blue, or blue, purple, red. And I am gonna start with one. So I'm gonna go blue, purple, red. And what I'm doing, it, actually the best thing to probably do, ignore what I just did there, is to trace it for a second first. And then I'm pressing some oil pastel in here. I am not being all that gentle because I do want a decent amount on there. I'm going faster than I would suggest you do just because you wanna um, take your time and I'm trying to make a video so I'm going a little bit fast. But you don't, you don't need to press too gentle. We wanna get an okay amount of oil pastel on there. Then um, purple should be next. Uh, according to the color wheel. So I'm gonna use my violet and purple here. And I look at what I'm actually going right over top of my blue a little bit. And even though it's already purple, I'm adding some deeper, darker purple to give it some more of that depth. So we're gonna have some purple in the middle and I'm gonna bring it down here into the bottom a little bit. And that's where I'm gonna switch to my red that I haven't used yet. Now I need to stop and kind of outline my shape here. It doesn't matter that it's right next to another red shape, that's fine. But then I'm gonna bring that up into that purple. So I've overlapped all of my oil pastel and I have this sort of rainbow looking thing from blue to purple to red. And actually the color wheel is in rainbow order. Um, so you can, if you know the rainbow colors in order, that can help you too. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take water and I've already used mine so it's kind of dirty, but um, and put the water on here and blend from one color to another to create those cool shifts from one color to another. So you kind of want to stick with one. So I just have a wet brush and I'm going over all the blue first, where it's the bluest, which is along that edge and kind of blending that in. These are gonna be very cool. Um, I'm gonna just wash out my brush for a second here. I'll get some more water on it. Um, and now I'm into like where the blue and purple are overlapping. And if you work it too long, your paper will start to kind of make little pieces of paper like that, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but you know, if you do it super, if it starts to do that, know that if you keep going, you might rip your paper. So something to be aware of there, it started to do a little bit there. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna rip my paper, but we don't need to worry too much about those little pieces of paper coming up because we can wipe them off later once it's dry. And then again, now once I got all the purple, purple done, I work my way into that red. And kind of just go from one down into the other. And I'm gonna do that for every single shape. I'm gonna look at my color wheel, which I will have up in the classroom while you work. You can refer to it, and you're gonna just shift from one color to another in these shapes. Um, so this is red. If I was gonna do that next, which I'm not gonna do another one on the video, but if I was, I would look here and I would say, okay, on one side it's gonna be violet, one side it's gonna be orange, okay? If I was in my orange shape, one side would be red, one side would go into yellow. Let's say that you have black. It can just stay black, that's fine. 
Or you can try adding in a color, like a dark purple or a dark blue to one side, um, or more of the actual black oil pastel to get maybe parts that are even darker. Or you can just leave it. Not every single shape has to have this depth into it, um, but it really adds a lot of interest, I think. And it's a good way to learn a little bit about color mixing. So, okay.